Well, he was the first man to amass a double-digit winning streak in the shark-infested lightweight waters in the UFC, the former interim champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, back on the proven ground here tonight. Tony Ferguson was able to navigate the toughest division in the UFC. He's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Dosh choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. That low single. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight on planet Earth. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is 10 years his senior. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony Alcacui Ferguson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Round one, how good is this? Tony Ferguson versus Conor McGregor. I know you're glad you don't have to fight Tony, but what is the biggest challenge for Conor going in there tonight? I mean, it's the length, it's the diversity, and it's the freeness of Tony Ferguson. Champion versus champion. These two have been destined to be locked in the octagon for a long time. Tonight, it finally happens. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice straight punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Powerful leg kick lands. 
Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by McGregor. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. El Kukui gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And he landed the right hand there. Big hook. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, straight right! So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Head kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Takedown's open. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He is all about that left kick to the body. McGregor's shot is blocked. Three minutes. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Hook is there again. Oh! Ninety seconds remain in the round. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to ring. Throws the right hand there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That right hand they continue to exchange. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Good punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Wow! Back to the feet. Final seconds of round one. Wow! So a strong five minutes down. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Round two now is upon us. Conor McGregor versus El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. 
fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. The unofficial numbers thus far, 82 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor and landing at a 49% clip tonight thus far against Tony Ferguson. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That's a big strike right there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. McGregor's right back to the full mount here. Just over three minutes to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by McGregor. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When? And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and that is it. Choked him to sleep with the arm triangle. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He got him! What a fight! Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Tony Alcatraz Ferguson! All right, so